Buenos dias. Good day to you. This is the third lesson in the introduction to rhythms. Previously, we've talked about the time signature, which comes right after the key signature. We talked about how that bottom number tells us what type of note is equal to one. So if you think of the four in terms of just put up, make it a fraction, uh, then a quarter note gets one B because quarter and a fourth are synonymous. So that shows us that a quarter note is equal to one. That can change. If that bottom number is two, that shows us that a half note is equal to one, one beat. All right? One half. If this was an eight, it would show us that an eighth note is equal to one beat. This is how the eighth note looks different from the quarter note. It has a little flag on the stem of the note. So, but we're going to work with, oh, and the top number, by the way, shows us how many beats per measure. And it could be four. It could be a lot of different things. So, but we're going to stick with four, four time. So if we had a whole note, that quarter note is equal to one. A whole note is equal to four, four beats. And we would count this measure like this. One, two, three, four. Sustaining that note all the way through the measure. So, one, two, three, four. All right, so uh, we talked about half notes. Get two beats each in four, four times. So that's one, two, three, four. Now, I won't always clarify that we're talking about four, four times. Just know that we are going to, uh, if, if I say they get two beats, that's in four, four time. So um, anything with a bottom number four, it gets two beats. But I'm not going to say that every time because this is very common. So, uh, now, it takes two of these to equal one of these, right? Two half notes equals one whole note because this is two beats, this is two beats, and everybody knows that two plus two equals four. So that's how that works. Very simple math, very simple. Can they remember my racers? All right, now we're gonna go with quarter notes. Each one getting a beat. Each one is equal to one beat. One, two, three, four. Two of these equals one of these because one plus one equals two. Two of these equals one of these. Two plus two is four. Four of these, one, two, three, four, is equal to one of those. All right? So it's pretty simple. Don't try to make it harder than what it is. We're also going to look today at eighth notes and sixteenth notes. We're going to look at how we can divide this down even, even uh, more. So uh, you would see the key signature on the next line. You'll not see the time signature again unless the composer decides to change the time signature in the piece, which does happen sometimes. All right, so if it takes two half notes to make a whole note, two quarter notes to make a half note, how many notes you think it takes to make eighth notes, you think it takes to make one quarter note. Two. Two of these make one of these. Two of these make one of these. Two of these make one of these. Make sense? All right, so now there's an easier way to draw this because uh, it's hard to read when they're flags. So we can just put a bar instead of those two flags and we know those are eighth notes. Now, if we were to do a whole measure of nothing but eighth notes, we would do it like this. And we have beat one, beat two, beat three, and beat four. So, um, because two of these equal to one of these. So here you got beat one. This, both of these together make beat one. Beat two, both of these together make beat two. Beat three, beat four. Now, there's another way to draw this. makes it even a little simpler. We can connect four of them together. We're going to do that right now. Four eighth notes, like that. And either way, you can do it. If you're a composer, you can write it either way. People tend to see things easily in that grouping like that. So that's why it's done that way. All right, so if this is beat one, these two equals beat one, we're going to put that one on the first one. These make beat two, so we're going to put it on that first one. This make beat three, we're going to put it here. These two make beat four, we're going to put it there. 
So what do we call this? We call this the and. So this is the and of beat one, the and of beat two, the and of beat three, the and of beat four. And this is how we count it. One and two and three and four and. Pretty simple. Most of you know this already. Uh, and consider it a review if you do. And if you don't, then you're learning it now. So that's good. So if I were to play this piece in a very slow tempo, very slow tempo means the speed of the music. If I were to play, play this in a very slow tempo, let's say one beat per second, and I'm going to guess at what, how fast that is. I'm going to get my watch and do it. It would pretty much be like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now, before I play this, if this is equal to one second of time, if we're playing it slowly, we're going to play one beat per second. You can play it, play it a lot faster. Most songs are faster than that. But if one beat per second, if that's one second, how much is one of these? It takes two of these to make one of these. Each one of these then is half of a second. So we're not going to, some people make the mistake of saying we're speeding up right here. We're not speeding up. We're keeping the same tempo. We're just playing it in a shorter amount of time. Each one of these gets one half of a second. So if this is one, two, three, four, one and two and three and four and. Right? Okay, so it takes two of these to two eighth notes to make one quarter, two quarters to make one half, two halves to make one whole, right? How many how many eighth notes does it take to make uh, a half note? One, it takes four of them. One and two and you see those two beats, and that's one and two. You can see that, right? So now let's talk about sixteenth notes. And we will go, there are, there are 30 second notes. Instrumentalists play those quite often. Uh, handbells is pretty rare and choir is pretty rare to see that. So we're just going to talk about 16th notes, which is dividing this into half. So if we have, if we have, uh, this is the way 16th notes look, by the way. Uh, but I'm going, it takes two of these to make one of these. Again, two of these to make one of these, two of these to make one of these, two of these to make one of these, two of these to make one of these. Pretty simple, right? But we're going to also get to draw bars, and we're going to do that because it makes it so much easier to see. So we're going to draw, and you can you do double bar, that's how you do it. So these are the eighth notes, one bar, double bar, sixteenth. We need four beats in this measure, so we're only going to use 16th notes in this measure. We need four groupings of four, because it takes two of these to make one of these, so it takes four of them to make one of these. Four 16th notes equals one quarter note. Four 16th equals um, two eighth notes, or it would take two 16th notes to equal one eighth note. This is how you would see that, right? So this two equals that, this two equals that. If I was counting this, and I'm going to draw this right here again. If I'm counting it, how do I count it? Well, we know we've got the one. This, These two, remember, these two look make that. So we got the one, and we've got the uh, and. Whereas this is equal to the and here. See that and? These two, this one is goes with that and. This is uh, it's not directly under each other, but I think you understand. These, this is the two, and this is the and. Not this one, but that one is the and. Okay, so what are we going to call this thing in between? This is one e and uh, two e and. Uh, Three, there's our and. Let me go ahead and do that four and and. Four e and, uh, I mean three e and, uh, four e and. Uh. So if it takes one second to play this, it takes a half a second to play this, it takes one fourth of a second to play each one of those. 
So if I'm counting that and playing it, I'm going to go like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One and two and three and four and one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. And that's how you do it. It's not all that dif difficult. Just remember, in four four time, the quarter note is equal to one. So that's equal to two, that's equal to four. It takes two half notes to make a whole, two quarters to make a half, two eighth notes to make a quarter, and two sixteenth notes to make an eighth or four sixteenth notes to make a four. All right, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Uh, it's really not that complicated. You probably, if you, if, if you watch this video a couple of times, if you're having trouble, you probably make sense to you. But if you still watch it a couple of times, if you still have questions, let me know. All right, and I'll help you out with it. All right, thanks.